Arroz con leche me quiero casar con una señorita que sepa cocinar. Hello, my name is Visay Sanchez and today we're preparing some arroz con leche. So, get ready. Okay, so for this amazing arroz con leche that we're gonna prepare, we're gonna need a pan of rice. That you can find it at the 99 cent store. Uh, also, you're gonna need brown sugar. Uh, La Morena, I usually use this brand a lot. Uh, you could also need, you're gonna need Lechera, uh, I googled the name, it's uh, what they said it was, milk made. I don't know, they have a weird name. And more Lechera, okay. Uh, you're gonna need a, a measurement of a cup. You're gonna need a spoon. Make sure it's plastic. You will know later why I need, we need a plastic one. Uh, we're gonna need vanilla. This is gonna taste so good, I can feel it. <sighs> we're gonna need some cinnamon and also a cooking pot yeah cooking pot uh, and also we're gonna need water we do need water i'm just hydrating that's why i need water i'm already getting hungry i don't know about you guys but uh, oh by the way i forgot the milk you need a gallon of milk we need a gallon of milk for sure so go get your milk because <laughs> i forgot to mention that you guys need a milk Okay, so the style that we're going to be making this uh, rice pudding because a lot of people are going to ask you, okay, uh, there's a lot of people that make rice and they make it so different. The style that we're making this rice pudding is uh, from Morelos. That is where I am from. So it's a different style than the ones that you usually see. Um, but first, rinse your cooking pot. And from there, we can uh, pour some water. Half, half weight, so all the way here. Um, so I was saying that I'm from Morelos and we make our rice pudding differently than other states of Mexico. I'm from a region called from Asochiapan. So obviously we have to turn off the stove. Uh, you can put a high, uh, you can put it on high. So make sure that so the water can start boiling really quick. After that, uh, you have put your water. You're already heating the water. It's already boiling. Uh, before it starts boiling, obviously, uh, we start putting the cinnamon. Add two pieces of cinnamon uh, for now, so you can see the change of the color. Okay, so it's already changing color. It should be changing already to brown. It it should be just boiling at least what we started. Like five, in five minutes, it should just uh, start to change colors. So as you already saw that the cinnamon uh, kind of went all around the water. So we need to remove all that cinnamon out. So grab one of these. Be careful, please. Just grab it like this, look, like this, like this, and then just grab the handles and like that. Be careful, don't burn. <laughs> and then now you're gonna grab one of these ones. Hopefully you do have one of these at home. I don't know what they call in English, so just grab one of these and put it like that. Be careful. Okay, so now you start doing this. Be careful. Okay, so we're gonna pour it back again to the to the cooking pot. And we're gonna add the rice now, so we're gonna make we're gonna go back to the stove back again, make sure it's boiling and um, and add the rice. Okay, so we're gonna add two cups of this. So that's one, two, and for the extra that comes always home. So you're gonna add the other one, okay? Two cups and a half. There you go, for the extra one that is always welcome home. Okay, so now that we have added the, the rice, our two cups and a half, we're gonna wait until it boils and the rice needs to change color. Not color, actually it needs to change like, you know, it needs to pop, it needs to pop, it needs to open. So we're gonna wait. Do not move it too much, okay? So just keep it there, keep it watching. Do not move from here. Do not go watch Netflix. Okay, so you can see that the rice is already sucking all that uh, cinnamon uh, water. So now it's uh, you see that it's already puffy, it's already opening, so it's time to add the milk. 
So we're gonna have that at the milk right now, okay? So keep watching. So okay, now it's the time for the milk. So let's add the milk. You already saw that the rice is changing, the water changed too uh, because of the cinnamon. So keep adding. And now just keep going, moving it, moving it, moving it, moving it, moving it. Okay, so now that you have added the milk and everything, don't move from here because that milk is going to make that kitchen mess if you move from here. So just watch it that it's, that it's spoiling and if it starts spoiling, you start moving it. The reason why I, I said um, the plastic spoon is because if the milk burns, you don't want to scrub, scrub in deep there because the, the texture of the milk is going to change if you do that. So if it burns, don't worry. Obviously, don't let it burn. But just move it. When you see it boiling, just move it, okay? That's the reason why you use a plastic spoon. Okay, hopefully your rice didn't spill out. And it's still boiling. It's still doing wonderful. And uh, you can start smelling the smell of the rice. So now we can start adding the vanilla. So you could add uh, one spoon. One spoon. The spoon of this one, okay? Not the little small um, tasting spoon of, of your soup. You can add one, one spoon and you can start moving it. Don't scrub on the bottom because you never know if the milk got stuck there. So, so you're going to move it, move it, smell it, talk to it, say damn you look good because <laughs> this is going to taste good. Beautiful. Now we're going to add the, the, the lechera so you can add all of it. Don't be afraid of adding it. Okay. If you got diabetes, add all of it anyways, because <laughs> you're going to need it. And make sure you turn off your stove because you're adding sugars and you know sugars, um, they're not going to be well with fire, with the fire. Um, most of the time that you're going to have this cooking, it's going to be on low fire. I forgot to tell you guys that. Right now you have to turn it off because you're adding all these sugars. Add four. This usually is, oh God, this is feeling good. I love smelling my food, I don't know why, all the time. <laughs> and tasting it too. Before you give it to someone else or or actually serve it to your guests in these holidays, make sure you taste it, okay? You don't wanna serve something that doesn't taste good or it's burned because uh, <laughs> it's not good. Grab your hand, do this. <laughs> it tastes good. So now we're gonna add the sugar now. So you can, just make sure you don't add the whole bag, okay? Because you know you don't want everything. People have diabetes nowadays. Um, just add a little bit. Start pouring. Yeah, uh, you could just um, for the measurement, you could use your measurement, the same thing that you use for your rice. Um, the two cups, you could add two cups. I just, I just pour. I don't know why. I just do that. I don't like using measurements. Uh, taste it, and you'll see the the texture, um, the texture, and it's supposed to taste all creamy. Mm. and it tastes so good it's burning me but it's uh, delicious it tastes like vanilla and also like um, milky that's the texture that you want to find in this arroz con leche okay so your rice is already ready and it's uh, ready to eat <laughs> so the way that I recommend you uh, to taste this delicious dessert is uh, the way we eat it in my in, in my country it's uh, with a bolillo or with a concha the concha um, so usually we get a bolillo, we open it in half, like this, and we get a little bit out the bread, and we serve the the arroz con leche inside like this. So watch me. So you go like that, and fill it up, fill it up. So like this, and now you just bite on it. Or you also you could get a bowl too, but myself I I love doing this better. Mmm, delicious. Sorry. So please subscribe to my channel. Follow me. My Instagram as well. My Instagram is at bsai13. So follow me. Please be gentle with your critics because this is my first video. Thank you. Ciao.